my somewhere satellite messenger got ran over. I just finished up two legs of the Twisted Sisters. So that's what a $63 tent site looks like. And now it's raining. Hello, beautiful people. I'm Amanda Zitto. I make motorcycle travel vlogs, content about motorcycle camping, and general encouragement for you to get out and do the thing. I'm crossing the United States solo for the second time on my Honda CB500X. I'm going from Sacramento, California to Tampa, Florida and back. Join me for the adventure. Good morning, beautiful people. As you can tell by the background behind me, there has been an explosion. I stayed in the hotel room last night because if you watched last week's video, you know I got whooped. <laughs> I was very, very tired after finishing that dirt road in Big Bend National Park and thought that I deserved some time in a comfortable hotel room, warm, but I really needed to do laundry and back up files with a power source and charge stuff. All of the normal things. Today's goal is Peter Nellis State Park in Texas. 330 miles should be about a six to seven hour ride today. Okay, I made it to Del Rio. I had some lunch at Sirloin Stockade and ate my feelings. On the road between Seminole Canyon and Del Rio, my Osprey bag that I used to just like throw a bunch of stuff in got ripped off the bike by the wonderful Texas Crosswinds. And uh, some of my stuff got run over by the truck that was behind me. A few of those things include a hand warmer, which is not the end of the world, I have another. The battery charger for my big camera. One of my Sony batteries, not worried about it, I have a bunch of those. One of my heated gear batteries, I totally lost one of my other heated gear batteries, so I'm gonna have to buy more. I do have one that's in, in my jacket right now, but I'm gonna have to replace because just one battery isn't enough. The sunscreen came off, that was fine. My glasses came off. Those obviously hit the ground pretty hard, but the glasses inside were safe, thank goodness. However, the most devastating part of this event is that my somewhere satellite messenger got ran over and is just toast, which means I am without a way to communicate when I'm out of service, which is like half of Texas. I'm still processing and figuring out what I'm going to do about that. <sighs> it's fine. We're going to pretend like it's 2016 when I still didn't even know what a satellite messenger was. Everything's fine. It could have been way worse. It could have been my tank bag. Thank God that it wasn't. Knock on wood. Not, not, not a great way to start this day. And uh, now we're going to hit the road. We're trying to get to Peter Nellis State Park, but now I'm so far behind because I had to backtrack to pick up all my gear off of the highway so I'm not sure we'll make it but since the time changed this morning I might be able to make it because now the sun sets a little bit later later could have been worse could have been worse nothing I can do about it now except order the stuff that I need to replace figure out what I'm going to do about the satellite messenger situation I really don't want to buy a whole new one I still have the in reach maybe I can get my partner to send that to me I don't know I'm gonna make miles and let my brain mull over it in the background. <laughs> yep.
just finished up two legs of the Twisted Sisters. I don't have enough time to go and do the third leg, but it was a very nice reprieve from the straight flat from West Texas. And now I'm gonna keep moving on. I stopped here at the general store, what is it? The Garvin store, and picked me up some bison jerky and some elk jerky, and uh, we're gonna keep going. I made it to Peter Nellis State Park, like for once, actually making it to my destination before it was dark, but they don't have any sites. <laughs> they gave me a couple other recommendations, but it sounds like they're all gonna be expensive. Maybe I should just get a hotel room? I don't know. I should go all the way back to Johnson City. Well, as you can see, the sun is setting. I came to this place that the state park recommended up the road, but there's no campground host here. Uh, I asked some of the people who are already staying here and they said, oh, just like go on the website and reserve a spot. And I was like, okay. And so I looked up the website. I have just enough service to pull up the website. I found one spot available. So that's what a $63 tent site looks like. Not level, no water. <sighs> I hate this, but I think I'm gonna go get a hotel room. But also, like, I'm not paying $63 for that. Am I awful? Maybe a little, I don't care. Well, I got a room at the Best Western in Johnson City, and with my Best Western rewards, it was 112 or something like that. A lot better than $63 for a tent site, that's for sure. And I'll have breakfast tomorrow. So, go make myself some dinner, take care of some back end stuff, get some photos edited, catch up while I still have Wi Fi. I'm gonna get myself all cozy, go to bed, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, beautiful people from my hotel room in Johnson City. I just spent this morning working on some sponsor posts and also calling like practically every dealership in the Austin and Houston area trying to find a tire for my bike since the rear has worn a little bit faster than we were expecting. Nobody is surprised. The wonderful people at On the Border Cycles in Houston have found me a Shinko 805 that'll fit my bike and get me the rest of the way across the country and back. Fingers crossed but I'd rather have that than a racing tire. So we gotta get all of this packed up and hit the road because it's gonna be about four or five hours till I get to Houston and I wanna get there before the shop closes because it's gonna take about an hour for them to change my tire. They even said they would be able to get me in today. So I am so, so grateful because I called about four or five shops trying to find a tire and they had it. So let's get packed up and hit the road, shall we? Actually made it to Houston. We'll wait for a little bit. There's a couple of bikes ahead of me, but they still assured me that 
tire is going to get replaced today. It's going to be a Shinko 705, which is great because it'll match the tread on my front a little bit better. But whew, I think I finally found the heat, you guys. Like, I had to strip layers before I even went into the side of the dealership. It feels nice not to have to wear five pounds of clothes to be warm. So this is awesome. All right, new rubber acquired out here at On The Border Discount Tire. They were wonderful, wonderful human beings. Got me in and out nice and fast. No questions asked. Didn't even harass me about how dirty the bike was. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna hit the road. I don't know where I'm going. That's okay. I found a park by Army Corps of Engineers and I called the sheriff's office to make sure it would be okay if I stayed here. And she said, in not so many words, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so I'm just gonna put my tent up here, I guess. <laughs> And now it's raining. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow, it's really coming down now. I'm gonna have to, I have to get my, I still have to get my clothes and stuff. Poop. But wow, yeah, it's just full on coming down now. Well. Well. The rain has stopped momentarily, so I think I'm just gonna crawl into my sleeping bag. I'm actually, oh, excuse me, quite tired. So I'm gonna crawl in my sleeping bag and go to sleep. Didn't think I was so tired, but then I got here and set up and I just wanted to lay down. <laughs> I think the last few days of riding across Texas and the Texas crosswinds, which can be downright horrendous, um, is catching up to me. So I'm sorry everybody who really enjoys my elaborate camp meals. It's just really hard to do that when the wind has been so bad the last few days. Anyway, that was a tangent. I'm gonna end this video here, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you did. Huge, huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon who make these videos possible. I would not be able to do it without you. If you are interested in supporting the channel, you can get early access to videos like these for as little as $1 a month over on Patreon. If that's not up your alley, that is totally okay. I appreciate all of you for watching these videos every single week. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Question for my end screen crew. What books are you currently reading and enjoying? I finally got around to listening to An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green, and I'm currently listening to the sequel, An Absolutely Remarkable Endeavor? I don't know. Editing Amanda can fact check me. Um, but I'm really enjoying those. I have gone through like five audiobooks so far on this trip, and that I do really enjoy that, being able to go through books in like one sitting and getting to, to read through them. I may be addicted to audiobooks. Who knows? Also, uh, listen to Circe. That one stuck with me. That was really good. If you like Greek mythology, definitely check out Circe. I will leave uh, links to those books down in the description if you're interested in what I have been listening to on this trip. I also finished listening to one of the great courses plus about um, ancient American civilizations, which was super cool. I really enjoyed that too. I'm all over the place. I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.